Hey, James with Left Five Parts My Bridge Fly. Anybody who makes fun of my artwork, I'm gonna block them from my channel. So this, we're talking to get talk today about eye infections in, in specifically newborn puppies. And so we're gonna use my terrible, terrible piece of art to talk about what we're gonna do here. So uh, this is specific to puppies that develop these sw a swollen eye Typically, day four through day 10, all of a sudden you see this one eye that's bulging like crazy, and you think, oh my goodness, what's going on? There's a terrible infection going on, which there is an infection going on, and that puppy's gonna lose its eye. No, it won't. Um, <clears throat> but, but being aware of, of being di diagnosing it correctly and then doing the right thing makes sense. So, uh, you know, you'll see vets talking about um, infections in, our, in, in our eyes in newborn puppies, was given from the mum during pregnancy. Uh, maybe, but I think probably not. Um, what's going on is, is that you have a pathway from the nose of the dog through the eye, which is now closed when it's born, to, the, to this lacrimal gland that produces, produces uh, uh, tears. Um, and so I suspect what happens is, is the dogs are, puppies are around with feces and other things around. They get it in their nose, it travels up the, the, the tear duct basically and, and swells the eye up and the eye has no way to cleanse itself and so you get the situation. And, and what makes me think that probably that's right in terms of the mechanism is because whenever I see this, well, not, yeah, I think every time I've seen this, it's always been a, a, one puppy in a litter with just one eye, not both, that are swollen up. If it was being caused by the mum during birth, I'd expect the whole litter to have it, and you'd expect it on both eyes, and I just rarely see that. So, I suspect, I suspect that it's actually um, feces and other nasty, nastiness that's in the whelping box. And so what can you do about it? Well, of course, keep your whelping box as clean as possible, but you've got to accept the fact that puppies are gonna poop, mum's not gonna pick all of it up, and so there is gonna be some poop around. And so for us, newborns, first 10 days, we might be changing, we have a, you know, we use one of those uh, puppy liners, liners, and we might be changing that out three or four times a day for the first few days. Anyway, but then you see this dog has this really swollen eye and it's really distressing. And you're worried about what the hell's going on underneath it. Well, you may see this, you may see the dog's crustiness around where the eyelash line is, that's actually a good sign that there's at least some of that muck is coming out. So, so what do you do about it? Well, the answer is, is you want to get a corner, of the, a little corner open. It's typically the corner close to the nose, you want to get that corner opened up. And if you can do that, you'll then be able to gently run your finger over the eye and squirt out all this muck and nastiness will come out of that opening right there. That's a big step towards getting this thing resolved. Um, should you start prying the eye apart? Absolutely, but carefully. Go get yourself a paper towel, get it nice and warm and moist, and use that to dab the eye and just generally start working around that eye and get that eye opened up, specifically try and get a corner opened up. And if you can do that, then the next thing to do is just basically wipe the whole thing down, get most of the muck out, and the swelling will look so much better immediately. And then I would just wait. This is gonna get caked back up, but I wouldn't get too crazy about trying to get this whole eye open. Um, but eventually, within a day or two, that is gonna happen, and that's what you ultimately wanna get done. You wanna get this eye opened up, and you wanna go get some antibiotic ointment in there. And the product that you can buy over the counter without a description on places like Chewy is uh, uh, Terramycin. I think I've spelled it right. It's, it's in a little tube, it's about 35 bucks. That's what I've always used with great success. I've never had a puppy that has developed any kind of eye problem after this has been taken care of. So, you know, I see things when I did a little bit of research before I did the video where, you know, vets are saying, you know, terrible things can happen and lose the eye and, you know, not be able to see, get, you know, destroy the cornea. Well, look, if you let this thing go, I guess that can happen, but nobody in their right minds is gonna let this go very long and by about day, day 10, the puppy's eyes are gonna open. One of, the, my, one of my first experiences of this was with a puppy that developed this, and the other puppy's eyes were starting to open up, and this one never opened up. And the reason was, it was so crusted up on the inside with all of this nastiness that it just fused the eyelids together, and just slowly opening it up, and getting that flushed out made a huge difference. But anyway, 
over a period of 24, 48 hours, get the eye completely open, but start off by getting a corner opened up, probably the one closest to the nose, and seeing if you can't drain it with dreadful pressure. If you can do that, then get some teramycin and put some teramycin in where that came out of. And then over the next 24 hours, more hot towels, get this eye opened up. And then you can flush with saline solution, the kind of things that you'd use for, uh, uh, on eyes that you can buy at Walmart, that's completely safe. Now, anything that's a cleaner for, for uh, contact lenses, no, I wouldn't be going with that. If you're gonna introduce anything but saline, I would go get like a triple, something that's designed as, as an ophthalmic solution for the eye. So, so teramycin's one thing, there are other, this thing called triple antibiotic cream for eyes. All of those kind of things would work fine. Um, yeah. Don't comment about the drawing, because I'll block you. <laughs> anyway, there you go. It's not as scary as it looks when you see it. I, I think that if you do this, and look, here's the last part about this. First off, this is we're talking about a particular situation where you've got bacteria in the eye. It's not conjunctivitis, it's not hay fever, it's not allergies, those are all different things, and those things you would not know about until that puppy has been exposed to them with his eyes open. That's a few weeks down the road. This is specifically newborn puppies that are like one to 10 days old that develop this eye bulge. That's what we're talking about. And if you have any doubt about any of this stuff, the answer is go to your vets. Don't rely on me, I'm not a vet. Go to your vet. If you're, if you're worried about the outcome of this, go to your vet. But that's what I would do, that's what I've done in the past, it's worked well for me. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.